Okay. Now I guess I'm ready. Take me on a journey. Where am I going? Floor six doesn't work. Floor four works. Hmm. Suddenly don't like being up here. The hell? There's some weird shit in this place. I guess floor 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 four isn't it, huh? Cause I mean, yeah, look, I literally can't go anywhere. Floor one? That works. I haven't been to floor one. I don't like that. I don't like the breathing. What? A book's lying here. It looks like a fairy tale. You're looking at the book? Once upon a time, there was a monster living at the gates of a village. It was very scary and a very bad monster. It would catch people and punch them up with its big teeth. The villagers were afraid of the monster, and no one would dare approach the gates. Everyone was stuck inside the village. When the king heard about this, he summoned the knights. The knights eagerly rode out to defeat the monster. Ha! Take that! Their swords slashed and their spears flashed, but the monster wouldn't die. The monster tossed the knights into its mouth one by one, horses and all. What was the king to do? He fretted and fussed and paced the floor, but could think of no solution. Soon after, the village priestess came to the castle. She was a very kind and good person. The king asked her to defeat the monster guarding the gates. The book's torn, the rest is missing. I remember reading this a long time ago. I think I borrowed it from someone. I don't remember how it ended, how it ended though. Didn't the story, wait, sorry. Grrr. Didn't I read the story through the, to the end? So, is this the monster from that book? If it is, I don't want to watch myself. I uh, sorry. If it is, and I don't watch myself, it'll gobble me up in no time. I can't tell where its mouth is though. I don't like the breathing on this floor. So this floor is fucking weird. Oh great. Brain check on that for a moment. No longer a rain check. Alright. Nope, it's just one. Wish the camera would let me see it though. Ow, you fucking alright. Really? This son of a bitch ain't staying down. Did you go down? How are you still moving? Why'd the other motherfucker go down so easy? putting up a fucking fight. That's annoying, to be honest. Nah, get away from it. I'm not gonna stop kicking though, you guys. For sure. Okay. Alright. Whatever, eat shit. What is this? For some reason, the only thing in the fridge is liver. I hope it's not rotten. Pork liver. Uh, what if I feed that to the monster? What the hell? I don't want to get too close, but I don't think it'll attack me now. 
Why not? All bark and no bite? Anyhow, it's in the way. I can't get past it. And it's... And it's the ground floor, too. This ought to be the exit. Alright, I guess that was a little too outlandish. Floor 2. Oi! Stop knocking over your microphone, you crazy bastard. Okay, it was floor 5 when I didn't visit? Maybe this is the one I haven't visited yet. Actually, seems like it is the floor I haven't visited yet. Alright. Oh, you're still alive. Get off me. Fucking die. What the fuck was that, man? There are too many weird noises. Ah, get off! Son of a bitch! Fucking die. Stop moving. God, those things. Behind a gate, stay there, you fucking freaks. Oh, these doors go everywhere. Freshly burning cigarette, though. That's... I got a matchbook. What'd you say? No more cigarettes for me, I quit for good. You smoke cigarettes? And you're young. Damn, okay. Uh, wheelchair? It looks like, like glass almost. It looks a little strange though. There's a big sheet of glass in the way. It doesn't break when I hit it, so maybe it's not glass after all. I don't know why, but the world on the other side is calling me. The world on the other side, it almost looks like a mirror too, but like it's different. I don't know, it's really strange. I know. No. Oh. Well, it's a save room. Oh! Wait. Underneath the picture. Flame purifies all. By these remains may a person find the road to paradise. I've seen this picture before. No, wait. I've never seen it. But I do know it somehow. Okay, so wait, this is probably where I put, I probably put the meat here, right, as a sacrifice of some sort, and then I'd probably burn it. That worked. I just needed all those. Okay, so then we burn it. What a tasty sacrifice. I'm gonna burn the painting. Hope I don't get fined for this, you know? <laughs> Please clap. What's this? Thing? Ew. Um. You know, maybe I don't wanna be here? What is this? I don't even know how to explain what I'm saying there. Uh, we're just gonna leave that alone. Papers. What might this be? The rest of the fairy tale I read earlier? Oh, is this the ending here? Let's read it. The priestess accepted the king's request and went out to the village gates, but when she saw the monster, she tried to convince it with words instead of killing it. 
Shut up, you. I'm going to eat you up. The monster didn't listen to a word the priestess said. But she kept trying to convince the monster to give up. It's wrong to eat people, you know? The monster grew very angry at this and attacked her, killing her with a single mighty blow. Oh. <laughs> No! Off. Oh. Cretan! Off, oh, you little creature. Stop getting up. Stay down. Enough. You've done enough. Yep, it's still alive. I knew it. I knew it. I actually called that. No. You stomp their ass, they just can't take it. God, the music. Heather? To reload faster. Is there another one? Okay. I think we're good. Holy shit. What's... What's this room about? Now you little creature! Heather, did you turn around and face the monster and shoot I don't like these things. Eat shit. God, you little asshole. Fucking asshole. Oh, are you through the gate? Or the grate? Are you? No, you aren't. Alright. I hate these things, man. Yo! Right, that's enough. God, those things are annoying. They're the worst. Dog. What? The hell were they doing in here? Having a little too much fun building a fort. Coins? Got a silver coin. A lamp shining on some old silver coins I know I've seen before. I got one earlier, so I shouldn't really take any more. I mean, I'm no thief. I might add like one now and then, though. What are we going to use a coin for? Huh? Wait, what? There's something written on the wall. Thus one's life turns to riches. What was a bag of silver coins is now the number in, in a book. Yet faith hath no price. Ah, but do people know this? Just a plain old vending machine. This one is selling canned drinks. Come to think of it, I am kind of thirsty. I'd feel weird drinking anything sold in a place like this, though. <sighs> yeah, in a different dimension. Couldn't really see this being used anywhere else. What? There's no drink in there. I got ripped off. More coins. A key. That's what they sell in vending machines now? 
life insurance key. Oh, which floor was the life insurance floor? Damn it. Don't try to faint. No! You're a little bastard, you know that? Stay down. Die. Once you get out of here, fuck this whole floor. Why did that noise play and then music started back? Dude, I don't like that. What is that noise? Ah, there it is. Great. Immediately. I'm so sick of those things. Come this way. Look at that. Look at that. I don't like that. Oh, he's just eating. Look at him go. Going to town. What the hell is this room supposed to be? The end of that fairy tale. Oh, here's more. Okay. The king and his people shed tears at the death of the kind priestess. God took pity upon them and granted their wishes, healed the priestess. The priestess opened her eyes just as she had done every morning of her life. She went once more to the monster's lair. Fool, you wish to die again? No, this time it's your turn. The priestess had come to defeat the monster once and for all. As the priestess was very, very kind, she felt sad about this task, but it had to be done. Swords and spears won't work. Arrows and bullets will just bounce off. You can't kill me. The monster laughed, but the priestess used neither sword nor spear. She chanted but a single spell. Tu... Fui... Fu fu I don't even know how, if I should say that, like, fly or fui... Ego Eris... That better not summon some fucking demons in my room, what the hell? Do you know what happened then? The monster let out a huge cry, and then died and vanished. Thus the villagers were able to use their gates once more. Everyone lavished their gratitude upon the priestess, and they all lived happily ever after. So it did get a happy ending. Look at that. Too fooey, ego Ares. Weird writing. <gasps> what was that? You pissed it off. Look what you did. The monster's gone. That's kinda good, maybe? Turn around. Since when? Oh wait, I'm on the first floor, idiot. I just didn't think about it. I just, like, my brain automatically went, eh, I'm not here. She chanted the spell, and now it's gone. Uh... I swear to God, if it shows up out here. Hilltop Center. Well... I'm out. Is this alleyway the right way to go? Apartments. Is this where we live? It probably is, actually. I should try it out. This might actually be where I live. It's not my place. <laughs> Open it anyways. 
My apartment, my apartment number is 102 on the ground floor, so we're here. Okay. Yep, your apartment's fucked. It's got one of these in it, too. What's this doing here? That really pisses me off. It's like having someone spit on your sacred place. Looking at that makes, uh, makes me head hurt. What? Makes me head hurt? What does it... Looking at that makes me head hurt. What does it mean? Alright, here we go. Dad? Oh. Harry? Dad, I'm home. Listen, something really crazy is going on. I think we should... Dad? Dad? like that he died and who the fuck killed him was it looks like someone killed him fucking trail of blood Silent Hill. Asshole. And Harry was a main character. How do you let this thing kill him? Am I about to find out? Oh god, it blocked. It blocked. Okay, that's not good. Um... How can you block shotgun shells? How do you... Fuck. Kick your logs down. Uh, or just miss. Or just miss that. Uh, he missed too. Idiot. Am I out? Fresh out. Oh. 
shoot this fucker while he's down. Don't get tired, Heather. Ooh! I did some damage. Well, I can do the strafe. I can. I can do the run around too, motherfucker. Take him while he's down. Take him while he's down. Fresh out. All right, now running out of handgun bullets is a bad thing. I still hit him. Nice. Ow, that's not nice. Fucking asshole. Okay, stop swinging, Heather. Damn it! You fast asshole. You fast asshole. Are you done? I think I got him. Just... Calm down? How am I supposed to do that? My father is dead! He's murdered! Get out! This is all your fault! If it weren't for you... I'm sorry. Then go! If it'll make you feel better, I will. Is he okay like this? What else can I do? There's no one here to give him a decent burial. <sighs> I'm sorry, Dad. to Silent Hill. What's in Silent Hill? I don't know. Do you think it's safe? Of course it isn't. I don't know what kind of hell is waiting for me there, but I've got no other choice. I don't care about God or paradise. If that's what she believes, then fine. But she won't get away with what she did. When I find her, I'll kill her myself. Revenge doesn't solve anything. Maybe not, but that's what I'm going to do. How do you get there? None of your business. I'll give you a ride. I don't need your help. Yeah, but it's too far to walk. Yeah. Besides, I'm partly responsible for this. I'll bring the car around back. Come by and finish saying goodbye. 
you know, you might die too. That's fine. Nobody's gonna cry over my grave. <sighs> I just wanna say, what a bitch. Not, not, not him. Not, not him. I I'm talking about that, that one Claudia person. Imagine. Just, what the fuck is this God or Paradise shit? shit? I'll find the woman that. I'll find that woman and make her pay. I promise I will. I wonder if my dad would be mad at me for thinking that way. Wait, I'll be back, Dad. I promise I'll come home soon. What an awful experience this would be. Imagine being in this situation. <laughs> A lot of shit happening here. What? Dad, why did you have to die? You told me you were the strongest man in the world. Liar. You don't gotta put it like that. I know you're grieving, but you don't gotta say that. Don't say things you'll regret saying. I'm sure he didn't want to go either. Is this my room? Wait. I don't remember exactly when, but I think I got this doll at a garage sale. I still like it, but there's nothing I can do with it right now. I'm exhausted, but I don't think I can sleep now. Besides, Douglas should be waiting for me outside. I don't think now would be the right time to sleep. Stun gun? Stun gun battery. Oh wow. Wait, what? What? Hey, hey, excuse me. I don't need to change, I'll leave it alone. I got a stun gun from there. Morning always comes, it's corny but it's true. But if your eyes are closed, it's always it always feels like night. That's the hero's line from this movie. I always liked that line, but now it just seems stupid. The front door actually? I just ran past it. Okay. I just met some guy named Vincent. That guy? Really? Vincent? She's talking to me. He's a friend of yours, right? Well, I'm not sure. He said when we get to Silent Hill to look for a guy named Leonard. And he gave me this map. Is that the map of the town of Silent Hill? What do you want to do? We can't trust him, but we've got no other choice. Here, take this too. What's this? Your father was holding it. What's the deal with Silent Hill, anyway? It used to be a nice, quiet little town. But now... How long ago was that? You've been there? Once. On a missing persons case. Never did find him. But I'll tell you, that's one screwed up town. Yeah, I know. I've seen it. My line of work. You hear a lot of nasty rumors. I was born and raised there. <sighs> Sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. No offense taken. He's right, though. It's fucking screwed up. <laughs> anyway, I thought you grew up in Portland. What's wrong? Feeling sick? My head's pounding. My 
the worst hangover ever. You've been drinking. Maybe you're car sick. No. I'm just trying to remember. My childhood. Something terrible happened in Silent Hill 17 years ago. A woman named Dahlia. She tried to summon the ancient god of the town. She offered up her very own daughter. That's crazy. Maybe so, but it worked. The girl gave birth to a god. You see, that girl had special powers. Powers? Her classmates called her a witch. She could make things happen with her mind. She could kill people just by wishing for it. But in the end, that god was killed by a single person. My father, Harry Mason. I guess it wasn't much of a god if it could be killed by a human being. But I think Claudia's trying to do the same thing again. And I've been chosen as the sacrifice. You've got some kind of power in you too? After the god was killed, the girl reappeared. She was holding a baby in her arms. Before she died, she gave the baby to my father. me just like I was his very own daughter. Even though he didn't know who or what I was. It was so sudden. I never had a chance to tell you, to tell you how happy you made me. I'm gonna head for that Leonard guy's house. You check out the hospital. No, no more hospitals. You got the map, right? Yeah. You gonna be okay alone? I'm not a child, you know. Okay, miss. Are you sure it's not you who's afraid to be alone? <sighs> You're right. I am afraid. 50-something years old. I never seen nothing like this. I still feel like I'm dreaming. <laughs> More like a nightmare, I'd say. <sighs> yeah. I want to wake up and have a smoke already. Meet me back here when you finish looking around the hospital. Okay? Roger. Well, here we are, back in Silent Hill. 
That is... Uh, as long as I don't have to touch any uh, prisons, I think I might be okay. That's got to be a coincidence, but still, that's pretty weird. Could, who could have done this? All right, I want to see Silent Hill. Yep. Okay. Here's the here's the trademark trademark fog. Jesus. This is what I was expecting from Silent Hill. We're here. <laughs> We're back. Shit. This place never changes, man. Does it? It's still a hellhole. But now, instead of things like, uh, you know, since the previous entry, instead of things like. Oh, alright, well, I'm going back. Instead of things like pukey monsters and, uh, and mannequin legs, leg on leg, you got shit like dogs and stuff now. What sucks is having no ammo. That sucks. So I'm about to dodge uh, puppers like that. That's right, that's right, that's right. I'm here. I'm not fucking around here. Oh! Let's check out the map. Oh my god, hold up. It hasn't changed. This is so weird. It's actually really cool to see. This map has not changed. The Lakeview Hotel up there. Lakeside Amusement Park. I, we're going to be going there later, I know that much. Listen, we had a nightmare about it. We're totally going to be going there. Look, down on the bottom right, the observation deck. That's where we started as James, going through the forest all the way in the beginning. And then we went into the main town area down there. God, this is crazy to see. We are headed for Brookhaven Hospital. Oh my god, we're going back to Brookhaven Hospital. <laughs> you fucking kidding me. We were in Jack's End though. Uh, we actually could not go in Jack's End and uh, Silent Hill 2. What about Heaven's Night though? Bet you won't be able to see it at all. Gotta say, out of morbid curiosity, I kind of want to go see if the Silent Hill Historical Society is over here. I don't need to be here now. Damn it! You know I want to see it. Even though I don't really want to go there. Oh god, I don't want to go there. Are we gonna go there? Hey, here's the bowling alley we visited as James. Of course. Am I heading in the right direction? I wanted to go check out Heaven's Night, but there's a lot of enemies over here. Nope. Heaven's Night is blocked off. No Heaven's Night for us, I guess. Oh, fuck's sake, I just brought more dogs in my position. Okay, so is the roadblock that was down here gone now? Seems like it. James had to go a uh, fucking real funny way to get past it. Ow! Damn it, man, the camera angles. This is Heaven's Night. I can go in? Oh wow, I can actually go in Heaven's Night. It's a tourism pamphlet. I'd forgotten it, but it's true, Silent Hill was originally a resort town. Welcome to Silent Hill. Silent Hill, a quiet little lakeside resort town. We're happy to have you. Take some time out of your busy schedule to enjoy a restful vacation here. Row after row of a quaint old houses, a gorgeous mountain landscape, and a lake which shows different sides of its beauty with the passing of, of the day. From sunrise to the late afternoons to sunset, Silent Hill will move you and fill you with a feeling of deep peace. I hope your time here will be pleasant and your memories will last forever. Editor, Roger Widmark. Thanks, Roger. Yeah, no, I'm having a great time. Um, my dad died. Um, I'm supposed to birth an ancient god. Uh, 
But no, yeah, I'm hanging out in the strip club and having a great time. Thanks, Roger. Whoa, Jared, was that a reference to the last time you read that in Silent Hill 2 and made a joke about how terrible it was, but then you were like, oh, no, 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 I'm having a great time, Roger. Really, Jared, that's awesome. It's a flyer from the club. It shows a woman with long black hair. The return of Lady Maria. Excuse me? From 8 p.m. on the 27th. The name. I also gotta say, I'm sad that the music isn't playing here. It's so That music is so fucking good. Yeah, fuck you. Brookhaven Hospital, we go. You guys don't fucking give up, do you? God. What the fuck is that? I was about to breathe a sigh of relief and be like, oh, to be back here, oh my god, this is crazy. And then immediately, what is that? I don't like that. I can't save either. Or any. Or... Oh! Ow. You guys are a lot more weird than in Silent Hill 2. Ow. Stomp her out. That's right, stay on the ground. God, yeah, I, I thought it was... To be honest, I don't know, your imagination runs wild. I thought it might have been something big, just crawling around here, breathing fast. Oh, look, it's this little office again, except this time they painted a cute little symbol. And the map's in here. It's not right next to the front door like before. My god, this place is the same. Except I bet you I'm going to see some different stuff here. Oh, wow. This is just open this time. I had to get a key to get in here. Uh... There is a memo posted on the refrigerator. Food only. Do not store drugs yet. It's the same. I wonder if it's okay to store health drinks in here. Oh! Oh, wow. I didn't get a health drink from that last time. Wow, James. You weren't being very, uh... not paying attention, were you? None of it really matters to me. What about the patient ward? Probably doesn't matter to her. I phew, that that ooh, that made me it gave me a weird feeling. I don't know. You ever just feel a sudden shock of fear, like your heart kind of freezes up for a moment? <laughs> I mean, I know what it was. It was a nurse, but my body just kind of reacted. Right, we're not going on the stairs, I guess. What? What the hell, Barbie doll? There must have been kids here too. Then I played with dolls like this when I was a child too. It really takes me back. What about this, though? Is this depressing? This day has finally come. That's right, the day when you and I will meet. What? I was always thinking of you here in this gloomy cell. I never even knew your name or face until the day. But now I know. I know you're the one I've been waiting for. And haven't you been waiting for me, too? That's why you came to rescue me. Oh, how I love you, Heather. I want to give you my prized doll I made to commemorate our meeting. The start of this everlasting love. Ah, I can already see your smiling face. Stanley Coleman. What the fuck? Who the fuck are you? No, wait. No, that's weird. That's... Uh-uh. I don't think that's a kid. And I'm in here with whoever that is. <laughs> Ow. 
take the damage. Yeah, fuck off. Stupid nurses. What? And fuck that room. Yeah, yeah, we'll come back to that later. C4. Oh. Hold on a minute. There are a lot of things stuck to the wall. A cookie, toothbrush, a spoon, a Christmas card, a clock. Whoever it was probably used glue, but why would they do this in the first place? What? There's a key. We could use that though, pull that off. There's a key glued to the wall. I'd love to take it with me, but it's really stuck tight. I can't even pull it off. Okay, we're, so we're gonna need something to kind of, I guess, remove it. Creepy fucker. The organization has me shut up in here. They mean to break my will to make me forget all, about all that. But I'll stay sane even if they throw me in here with the lunatics. How about if I stick this to the wall? That would be worthless. You can peel it off, can't you? With that junk those nasty winches won't stop using. If a thing has no meaning, there's no reason for it to exist at all, just as you exist for me. But why haven't you taken my doll with you? Ah, my gift must have embarrassed you. How cute you are, Heather. Stanley Coleman. Ugh. That's just fucking creepy. And he... What, he, did he literally watch me? Because he means the last doll. Alright. Ow. Kick it. Kick it. Ow. good in here? Now don't you motherfucking tell me that you had me come in here thinking I might get something good when there's just three ner- You bastards. You have me come in here, kill them all, and then I get nothing. Okay, I haven't checked this out. Dad's notebook. Dad wrote about my past in here. As always, this should be novelized. Can I really read this? My dear daughter, I hope this will never come to any use. Maybe it's better if you never know. More than anything else, I fear the possibility of your going away far from me. But sometimes we have to tell the truth. That's why I'm writing this. Before I'm lost in death and oblivion. What happened back then? That has something to do with who you are. It all started 24 years ago. Coming back from a vacation, my wife and I found a baby on the side of the, on the, side of the highway. Since we were childless, we thank God for letting us meet the child, this girl. We took her home. We, we took her home. We took her home. Three years later, my wife died, and another four years later, seventeen years ago, I came to Silent Hill. I heard I heard the girl's pleas and took her with me, not knowing why she wanted us to go there. And it was there that the girl went away. Not that she actually went anywhere, nor did she die. Returned to her original self. That's what Dahlia. Uh, Gillespie said. Original self, that was the young woman burned by her mother as a sacrifice to God. Alessa Gillespie. <laughs> what, a, what an interesting last name. Half her soul escaped in those flames and went on to live in a baby. In that girl of mine, of ours. Seven years passed before that half a girl returned to Silent Hill and made Alessa whole again. Newly strengthened, she vowed to kill God. God, a fetus nestled into the sacrificial girl's womb, was summoned with the usual rites. This was Alessa's wish, no matter what the outcome, even if her own existence were at stake. But that wish was not granted. My interruption meant she prayed and said for the girl's return. I alone couldn't bring her back. Dahlia did it. I only helped at the birthing ceremony to bring God out of Alessa. The newly born God wailed once and was dead, all from that girl's and probably Alessa's conscious resistance. That's not the end. 
After God had vanished in a glow of light, Alessa reappeared and gave me a baby. She looked a lot like that girl a long, uh, so long ago. And then Alessa was gone, dead. There was nothing I could have done to help. I simply clutched the baby to my chest and ran off. The whole thing felt like a dream, but I had proof that it wasn't. The girl was nowhere to be found, and in my arms, the baby. Now, 17 years have passed. It feels like only yesterday, and again, it feels like a million years ago. I confessed I had reservations at first about raising that baby. Could I love her? Her existence was thoroughly unexplainable. I thought she could be that young woman who snatched away my beloved daughter. That led to sadness, anger. There were times when I put my hands around her, at her tiny little throat. Several times I even considered abandoning her. That's what a terrible person I am. But I decided to raise her after all. I just couldn't seem to let her go. When she, when you look at me, you laugh so. Even now I can't forget about that girl. But I love you. I have no doubts about that. That's all I ask you to believe. To my precious daughter, Harry Mason. Now I haven't checked out the pendant before. I could examine this. It opens up. There's a jewel inside. Like a little red tablet. When I asked my dad what it was, he said, just a lucky charm. But then he told me to take good care of it and never take it off. Huh. Alright, well, I guess that explains a lot to you. Wait. Sorry, I just came back into this room where the fucking doll and notebook were. Look, they're gone. So he really is keeping track of me. He's like watching me. That Stanley dude is just fucking watching me. That's, that's so eerie, but I came back here to check this again. It said, he said something that the winches use. Uh, so, you know... What if that room that I kill all the nurses in actually does have a purpose? I can't really think of many other places to go right now. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh! Sorry, that... That kind of... Like, actually kind of startled me. <laughs> Holy shit, my heart... That kind of startled me a bit. I wasn't expecting anything when I came back in here. Game and it's weird noises fucking with you. This elevator works? Sorry, I wasn't expecting that. So, I mean, we could go... I mean, we've got the second floor, third floor, and the roof, and obviously the basement. Let's check around. Want to try the basement first? Didn't work. Third floor? Okay, second floor it is. Okay, here we are. I'm a little fucking antsy right now. This looming sense of dread. Oh, fuck off. Okay, what now, creep? You may not yet have realized your own true feelings, but you sense them unconsciously. And so you're trying to get closer to me. That's a virtue, the path to paradise. If the door is locked, open it. Use the password for the prison gates. Doctor, I've forgotten his name. Anyway, that, that quack has it posted. He should be here, too. I mean, four numbers, who would have been good enough? Yeah. I mean, four numbers uh, would have been good enough, but he kept on going. Isn't it a shame I'm not there? Aren't you irritated? I long for you, but you're so cruel. Still, I want you, Heather. Stanley Coleman. This dude's fucking weird, man. Disgusting. I won't touch that with a ten-foot pole. <laughs> okay, hold on. What is this? There's a typewriter memo. Blah, blah, blah. There's a typewriter memo posted here. Why can't I talk tonight? What's this supposed to mean? The first is larger than the second. The second twice the third. The third smaller than the fourth. The fourth is half the first. God, what? <laughs> okay. The first is larger than the second. 
Four of the numbers are not repeated. Three are not in the top row. Two are not in the right row. One of the numbers is the final key. What the fuck? Hey man, keep it simple. Fucking, this fucking dude, so, oh my god. My god, fella. Yeah, like, alright, nobody's hacking into your Facebook.